Alright guys, so what's going on? It's crazy seeing this upper balcony filled. It's amazing. It's awesome. Praise the Lord. Um, yeah, so uh, some of you know me. A lot of you don't. There's a lot of new people here, which is great. Thank you, thank you. Um, so if you guys don't know, I am a single child, sing, only child, not single, single too, but you know, whatever. Um, so I'm an only child. I grew up with just me and my mom. My dad was never in the picture. Um, so it was kind of weird growing up, but my, luckily enough, the Lord blessed me with an awesome mom who was able to take over both roles, even with the handicap that she has. So bless her heart. It's amazing. But um, what I really want to press on, guys, is that you have a father, whether you have a father or not. Um, so as I grew up, it was really hard to kind of do all the guy stuff that I've always wanted to do. My mom hates camping. I love camping. Um, and it's just crazy how the opportunities that our Father in Heaven gave me the experiences that I've always wanted from my father here. And it's crazy because uh, just the stuff he showed me, he showed me so many amazing things, how to get up after you get knocked down. He's been there to comfort me. He's been there to smack me upside the head when I'm being really stupid. Um, he showed me just so many things. He took me camping, which is amazing. I went with the IMA. I don't know where they're at. Alex was there. Ben was there. I went with them last summer. It was awesome. So he even took me camping, which is great. Um, but yeah, so recently I was I finished high school, didn't really know what to do with myself, so I was kind of just wandering around. I was going to go to school, my car crapped out, had to pay for that, dropped out of school. And uh, the Lord was just really speaking to me that I needed to join the Air Force. I've been thinking about it my whole life. I was always wanting to serve my country, serve, my, serve the people I love. And uh, so May 27th, I shipped out. I went to the San Antonio, Texas, went to Lackland Air Force Base and did uh, basic training. I went through tech school, I was military police, so I went to the whole academy. And it was awesome. I finished it, and uh, I went in for a PRP interview, which is to guard nukes, if you guys aren't familiar. Um, so I went into guard nukes, and they were talking to me, and they were like, hey, so we found this out. You're not going to be able to continue with this. And I was like, oh, all right. They say I have sleep apnea. I don't. They're full of crap. <laughs> so they sent me back to Texas, and uh, they put me on ATAF, and I was sitting there just mad at myself, mad at the world. I was so pissed. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was just really upset because it was something that I've always wanted to do. God finally put me on the right track. He said, hey, this is where you're going. I was so comfortable with it. I planned on like spending the next four years doing whatever I was doing and just having a great time. And uh, all of a sudden, it was just all torn out from underneath me in, in the course of three hours. So I'm sitting in my room just like, what the heck? Like, what is this? Um, but as time progressed, I, I just slowly started to, I realized it. And the whole time I was down there, I was just... I don't know if I got annoying or not to everybody that's friends of Momentum or whatever, or Pradeepin and Luke and Ben, I, I was always tagging them, but every time I would go to Starbucks while I was down there, because I was on ATAP, didn't do anything during the whole day, so I would go to a Starbucks, get on the internet, and I would just watch Momentum. I'd just watch all these videos from all the services that even I've gone to. I've seen them in person, but I went back and watched them, and so during that whole time, I was just like, all right, I get it, and I started to realize that God has a different plan for me. He has something else going for me. Um, the whole reason I joined the Air Force, you guys, I didn't say it, but it was for education. And so I was on ATAF, and I was getting ready to leave. And right before you leave, they tell you all the stuff you're entitled to. I was like, all right, this is pretty sweet. I only served like seven months or whatever, but you guys are going to give me some stuff. That's great. And uh, it turns out that I got $15,000 for school. So seven months, they're paying for my school. They're paying for my whole degree, everything. It's all hooked up. And it was awesome. So I come back, and it was just awesome to see all my friends again. I don't, you guys are all right there. It's really hard to see you. But uh, all four of these guys right here, and Courtney and Josh and all them, it was so nice to have a friend base to come back home to that was like, hey, man, I know this sucked. Well, let's build you back up. And you guys are awesome. I thank you for that every day, dude. It's awesome. And uh, so, yeah, now I'm back. Uh, back at Momentum, obviously. I love it here. I love all you guys. It's a great place to be. If this is your first time, keep coming. I highly encourage you. It's fantastic. You'll meet, Lord, you'll meet the Lord in ways you never thought. He'll touch your life. He'll do crazy stuff, man. And... Uh, yeah, so I start EMS Academy in January. It's all paid for, which is pretty sweet. So God has an amazing way of working it out. So, yeah. So, yeah, just, uh, just open your minds tonight, guys. If it's your first time in a church, if it's your first time here, just open your minds. And uh, one thing I want to show to you guys is uh, Romans 5, 3 through 5. And uh, I actually got a tattoo. It was, uh, I was down there because I was so mad. But uh, when he spoke to me, I was like, I got to get this. Uh, and so, if, for those of you guys that are hating life right now, if something's going on, just uh, check it out. It's Romans 5, 3 through 5, and it says, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance produces character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured
pour it out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who's been given to us. So he's going to make you suffer. It's going to suck sometimes. He'll throw you into sticky situations and you're going to hate it. But he's your father. He's going to pull you out of it. So that's what he does. So, yeah, just open your minds tonight, guys. And be great. Thank you, thank you.